Okay, we are finally back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, we're pushing right along uh, through the main missions. As you can see, uh, my wardrobe has changed a little bit and I have leveled up. Let's just, let me just show you guys real quick. Uh, my gear. Okay. So, I got a couple new things. Uh, put on a scarf, a new robe, uh, some rustic garb, got some sweet gloves, and I added a new wand handle. I thought it was pretty cool. And all this stuff, like, adds offense, offense, some defense, and stuff like that, so. And, you know, as you can see, I leveled up a little bit. So I did, I promise, I didn't do any main missions, only did side missions. I uh, was helping out some fellow students uh, with some things, so that's what I did. So you can go on my quest. I still have one more, the uh, Dedalion keys to do, but I'll do that offline. There's like 16 of them. I found one. So that one's going to take me a bit. But for right now, we'll continue on with the main mission. And we'll go into Professor Fig's classroom and see what's up. See what craziness we can get into. Where are we at? Right here. Professor! Alright. Quest started. What's up, you guys? cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood. Yep, makes no sense. Same to myself. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's ah, Fig. You have a visitor. Yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's. Wait. You accessed the restricted section? Damn right I did. Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Okay. You even look oh. at those pages? Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears Imagine that. someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's mm -hmm. heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now Maybe. I have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Uh, yeah, what, what are you going to tell him? Tell them about Mr. Osric's death. I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. And of course. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your Tell me what to work do. is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, oh I'm, and I'm don't neglect be... your friends. Right. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. I haven't been. Oh, that rock. Rebellion. No. Mm. 
That looks like the crest I found. Oh, I got mail. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Okay. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Oh. Uh, and I just sent you an outpost requesting to meet her in Lower Hogsmeade. Hey, Hamlet. Like, is that what I'm supposed to do? What's this? Oh, world map. are small communities throughout the world. This is Hamlet. Uh, this is Hamlet Lower Hogs Feed. Hamlet provides new opportunities for vendors, flu flames, side quests, and collectibles. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Holy crap. Oh. I heard it. Did you guys hear it? There was a flying key somewhere. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Pleased to be included. Damn it. All right. Where are we going? I could probably fast travel. Oh, should we fast travel? Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Let's see if we can fast travel. All right, fast travel works great. Much closer. Got to learn some herbs. Revelio. Uh, this do cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. All right, let's see what she has to say real hello. quick. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's potty. this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. I've seen quite a few of those. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. Mm. But I'm not sure what to do next. Perhaps I'll have time, look. I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Uh, do come and find me if you stumble on Lumos. something illuminating that spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Um. Yeah, that's like... <gasps> oh, is it down there? Do I need to keep the Lumos going? This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Is this? The statue with an urgent ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's uncoctus unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Off on another adventure, are we? Maybe. Hmm. 
Revelio. Lumos. Oh. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Um. <laughs> Got it. I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Where's she at? No. Hey, guess what I did? Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? Damn How? right. I'm a genius. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Damn right. Matty's good at that, too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. All right. The moth. I should have seen that. Uh, am I leveled up again? I'm the best. Hold up, I saw something over here. Oh, what does she have? I need to collect as many pages as I can. Um. I'll talk to you later. Professor Weasley said you told me. Oh shit. I had to restart our mission. Ooh, Moose forgot. I'm here for some herbs. Some herbs. Teach me. Rebellion. Acceptable. Acceptable. Oh. In transfiguration. No child of mine. Got it. Give me that. That's locked. Damn it. Well, girl. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. What do I get? Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. I look forward to growing with you, How Professor. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together Giggity. again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Can they have earmuffs on in the movie? Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Get out of there. Uh, put it in there. Shut the front door. Jesus. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero. I know that spell. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. That's it. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting That was an easy day of class. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Um. 
Did you Sorry. know that you can use the mandrake to defend? I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. That's strange. Give me. See on all your shit. That. Nah. Oh, girl. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Uh. Yeah, I like it. Actually, it's fun. I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Well, thank it wasn't you. easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see how let's, to balance my star thistle arrangement. Let's plant some this shit. Is fancy. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Got it. Ready in nine minutes. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. Hmm. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Oh. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. What should I be doing right now? I'd like you to get some hands-on experience with the Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, yeah. They're in the greenhouse, just across the footbridge. Mr. Pruitt will assist you with them. Um. Now remember, a wand ah. is not a ah. towel. Hello. Saw you what on up? your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Yeah, nice let's go. You. Shut I'm up. Leander. Oh, okay. Nice work in defense against the dark Thank arts, you. by the way. Take Excuse this shit. Me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Things Not as good really as me. Good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, but, I would you didn't. If Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb um. once. Don't worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me. Give me you that. do not want to go through that. Now, see that dummy? Got it. Got it. Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. All right. What am I doing? I'm sorry. Hold L1. What do need to do? Garlic said she wanted you to the have a go at ten more cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to, to it, really. Open a wheel and assign Just the Chinese chomping cabbages. Just toss some of those cabbage. Chinese chomping cabbages out. And have L1 to use your... <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. All right. L1. And not go. Here we go. Look at that. Got him. Get him. Beat his ass. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Yeah. My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The you kind said of plants boob. just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Uh, sure, but that was just a dummy. I was imagining it already. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup. 
even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. I'm not Dogweed scared of death cap has more of them trolls. if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. Where'd we'll the cabbages go? Class. Can I pick them back up? Nah, I'm right. I'm coming. I'm coming, baby. Where are we going? There you are. Alright. Come here, sweetness. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our uh, lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Five more Captain. minutes. What's up, Teach? I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Uh, yep. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. You bet I will. I want to tend to her garden. Oh, those mandrakes are really Move it, ho. Their new pots. Only cost me my uh, damned hearing. Four minutes left. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Move. Move it. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Right. Where am I going? Right. Next class of the day. I'm going to get education on today. Oh, shit. Kind of sketchy to have a potions class all the way up here, isn't it? Give me shit. Wait. Is this not potions class? Where the hell am I? No, oh, it's downstairs. Nice to see you, my young friend. How nice to see you too, my old friend. I don't make it. Getting closer, I think. Another door. Oh, and a key. Revelio. Or a thing to a key. It's. A, I need to find a flying key somewhere. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Nope. Professor Black would never allow. Ooh. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Got that? Unlock. Uh, slap. Shit, missed. Damn it. Damn it. I'm too slow. Shit. Damn it. Every time it moves. Got it. Sweet. Only 14 more to go. 
Let's get to class. All right. Everyone chill. I am here. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Oh, dope. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, it Professor Sharp. You. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before Why don't you ask me? I knew the answer. Completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. All right. What do I do? Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be Crushed. meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Uh, or clump juice. Got it. Another, another couple drops. Stirred it. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Stir, stir, stir. Beautiful. Who's writing? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Yep. Same and from what I hear of your easy. recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from J. Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, Good. sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer okay. ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okie dokie. Oh, girl. Professor Sharp said that my parents considered keeping me home from school this year after I was the rumors of talking to her. Where am I going? Mm. Over here, over here. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did. Uh, yeah, why do you want yes, to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You remember me, don't you? Nope. Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. Oh. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh... I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Uh... I'm not I'm doing enough it. to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Yeah. Not helping you get shit. A well prepared ritual with an always has a few Gimme. Uh oh, what we got? Date thirty first of December, eighteen seventy five. Good lord. From Aurora Office, subject Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know, the shop's reputation, we are adding 
more rewards to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new addition. Further instructions to follow. Ooh. Put that. Um. Oh. Didn't really need that, but we'll take it anyways. should not be that color, Miss McDuck. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience. And Potion station. Unlocked. Uh. Right, he said to make that. Right? Long refer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Query time. Oh, that'll be done in seconds. Let's just watch it kick the countdown, I guess. 13 seconds. What was that? Nine. Five more seconds. Is it on fire? Pick up. Dope. And now we add the mallow sweet and. Got it. That's odd. Professor. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Burn the endurance potion. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Stations organized and free of clutter. Oh. Professor. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked. Edoras. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In uh, addition to having okay. a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fupa feather. This time. What are you talking all. about? What fupa feather? I think of each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. We can move. I'm out. How the hell do you get out of here? Huh. My robes are going to reap from Gary's inspiration for the rest of the world. All right. I think Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, I am. Oh, super bright. Oh, the bananas. Where am I going? Defending Hogsmeade against trolls. A damn right I did. There is such a thing as trying to. No such thing. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Shut up. We're gonna go holler at Homegirl. I lost it. Whatever, I lost it. No matter. Maybe we'll return. You say he shot his mother once? 
Revelio. Uh, the set of armor belonged to Sir Scagglethorpe, the headless who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Okay. I'm coming, girl. Where the fuck am I going? Am I going like the longest way? Um. Rebellion. There we go. Nothing, bitch. Yeah, well, what? I'm gonna say, why are we running? Oh, uh, ah. Give me that stuff. More mushrooms. Oh, that looks like the bridge they blew up. Take that. And that. Give me all your stuff. Oh, sorry. It's all a hot air balloon. Indeed, your field guide. Have I been here before? To be included. We're almost there. We're going to make it. What's that? Gear slot. Oh, I'm full. What do you mean? I guess we're full. Where are you, girl? I should investigate. Investigate what? what? The fuck are you talking about? It is. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Hmm. Uh... Sure. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one yeah. more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? No. I think so. I'm no. still learning, yes. but... I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. What's that? You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. 
Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What okay. sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. Well, that How do you know true, this? But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall Holy crap, you think we'll talk too In much. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank okay. you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's okay. going on here? That's complete. The girl from... Who would do? I guess we'll help her. That's some strange woman. The fuck was that? I must have come this way. Think. What are you guys doing? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. A doxy's Oi. nip. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough Hi. for you. Whoa. Leave her Whoa. Alone. Take that. I'm gonna let me also your ass. Suck it. Who's that? I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. That's rude. Uh, the collection of sections of reveal guide has been updated. A new enemy type. Okay, whatever. Oh, I'm gonna be Ow! Ow! Take that, you bitch. Net, net, net. Um, well, I probably could have thrown that. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Since Me neither. Dogwarts. Me neither. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your... Excellent defensive skills. Yeah, pretty Can good you defensive tell me why skills. Two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you. Ashwinders. Victor Rookwood, thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Have you seen my hair? Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Good plan. Oh, yeah, who's Priya? Someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. 
She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Nice. Uh, yeah, I thought he was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures. How fascinating. These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Hmm. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> oh, he, he was a Slytherin? terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Uh, yeah. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. Well, I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought um. a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. I found it. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Got it. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, I as well as a stone swell on the ground. I see it. Yep. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell. And we'll see what happens. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh, this one. Jesus. Did you see that? I did. Disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. One, two, I am curious three. about these pyres. There's three pyres. There should be four, I guess. Um. Incendium! The flames make the pyre sink. I miss. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Um. I feel like we're missing one pyre. Right? Oh, shit. Let me see. One. Incendio. Got it. Man, yeah, how beautiful. Isn't it? What a day. I can hardly believe it. Oh, speak speak to Nora. 
I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Good. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit. Probably. Which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you and too. do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Okay. Trials of Merlin. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Probably. Okay. So. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking bitch. for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Whatever. Alright. So, as I was saying. We're going to end this one here. I hope you guys are enjoying Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll check you later. Peace. Yeah.